Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we are looking at a broom handle Mauser uh, pre-World War I commercial from about 1910 or 1911 that actually went to France and is French retailer marked. Now these are kind of an interesting variant that you don't see very often. Uh, the gun itself is a standard pre-war commercial in the 160,000 serial number range. Uh, I mean, very, very standard gun. All the standard features you would expect from a gun at this time. Uh, you've got your, the, the triggers were no longer being strawed. They were now uh, fire blued at this time. Um, your standard Mauser markings. Um, just sort of very quickly look at the gun itself. Uh, this one obviously did not see a lot of use. It is in pretty nice condition. Um, a standard front sight there but on top of the barrel and this is where they're generally going to be marked and in in uh, letters that are gonna to be too small probably to focus on right here it is going to be marked um, many and I'm, I, it is going to be in French and I'm gonna butcher it and I'm not gonna even try so it basically just says uh, manufacturer of arms and bicycles in saint antienne France. And this company is actually better known as Manu France. And if I am correct, they are still in business and they sell um, just sort of, uh, as I understand it, all kinds of outdoor and um, sort of camping gear at this point. But in the early 1900s, they were selling guns and Mauser broom handles were one of those firearms. So you may come across uh, pre-World War I retailer marked broom handles from France. And if you see that on a barrel, you know what you're looking at now. Uh, otherwise, this gun is very, very standard, as I said. Your typical markings, your serial number repeated multiple times, as always with your small ring hammer. And I should add that uh, you can find these in much earlier serial number ranges. Uh, the broom handle was going to France well before this one, so this is certainly not like an early one or anything like that. Uh, it's just a good example of what you'll see if you find one of these. And again, your standard uh, crown marking here, which is just your proof mark. Um, France really didn't require, as I understand it, any extra proofs. Um, and it's not like England where you'll see all these different uh, tons per square inch and a Birmingham national proof, uh, national or Birmingham proof house uh, <laughs> proof or anything like that. And on the top, of course, you've got your standard Mauser uh, chamber marking all your nice fire blue, your thousand yard sight, a thousand meter sight, sorry, and everything else that's very standard on these guns. Uh, this one does have something that's a little bit unusual. On the bottom of the grip here, it's got numbers that actually have nothing to do with the serial number. So I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, you know, it's, it's done in a sort of military fashion. I don't know if maybe that's uh, police use or some sort of paramilitary use, or maybe it was sold in France and went somewhere else for use. But it's just one of those interesting things that you do see on a lot of broom handles. You'll see various numbers and whatnot stamped on them. And a lot of times it's a mystery and just something you just kind of have to wonder what on earth happened to this gun. So uh, just a quick look at a uh, French retailer marked gun. Hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this. If you enjoy uh, firearms, ordnance, helmets, and all things militaria, please do like and subscribe. Drop a comment and uh, always encourages me to do more videos for you guys. So thanks for watching.